Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, we're looking to simplify a fraction where both the numerator and the denominator are expressed in a series of numbers in third form. It's a pretty straightforward question, so feel free to challenge yourself to try to solve it within 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and get started. The best way to deal with questions like this is to relate the numerator and the denominator in such a way that at least part of them can cancel each other. So after the cancellation, whatever that is left behind will be the final answer. So let's take a closer look at the numerator. I have square root 2, square root 3, square root 4, and square root 5. Out of these four numbers, square root 2 and square root 5 are already present in the denominator. So in other words, I need to find a way to bring square root 3 and square root 4. For the remaining four numbers on the denominator, all of them are products of two or more numbers. And for the first two, square root 6 and square root 5, the way to break them down is fairly straightforward. I can express square root 3 as the product of square root 2 multiplied by square root 3. Likewise, for square root 15, I can express that as square root 5 multiplied by square root 3. So what's left is, what are we going to do with the remaining two numbers? And there are some possibilities. Let's first take a look at square root 27. I mean, I'm going to write this in green color ink just so that I can keep track of where things go. My natural instinct is to write square root 27 as square root of 3 cubed. But we don't have any cubic number in the equation and I don't want to introduce something new. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this as square root of 9 times 3. From there, if I break them apart, I can turn this into 3 square root 3 or 2 square root 3 plus square root 3. So now I have introduced the individual square root 3 into the denominator. Next, let's take a look at square root 25. Again, I'm going to write with a different color ink so that I know where each component goes. Square root 25 is pretty straightforward. That's equal to 5. But keep in mind, we are still trying to introduce square root of 4 into the fraction. So how do I relate 5 with square root of 4? What I can do is I'm going to write this as equal to 2 plus 3. From there, I can write that as square root of 4 plus 3. We'll try to figure out what we can do with this whole number 3 later. Now I have all my components in place, so let me rewrite the fraction using the different color ink and hope that I don't mess it up. Here goes. I have square root 2 plus square root 3 plus square root 4 plus square root 5. That's on the numerator. On the denominator, I have square root 2 plus square root 3 plus square root 4 plus square root 5 plus square root 6 plus square root 15 plus square root 9 plus square root 12. Let me spend a little time on the final two components that I neglect to explain earlier. The square root 9 came from the blue color, which is actually a different way to write 3. I'm, going, I'm simply expressing 3 to be square root 9. As for the final number of square root 12, that came from 2 square root 3 which can be written as 4 times 3 square root, which then is equal to square root of 12. Let me put things in perspective by using brackets. I have a bracket here, and I have another bracket here. If you look at the second bracket, it's actually very interesting. We can actually factorize these four numbers by taking out square root 3. Let me go ahead and copy down the entire fraction again. So what I have is square root 2 plus square root 3 plus square root 4 plus square root 5. From there, 
on the denominator I have square root 2 plus square root 3 plus square root 4 plus square root 5 plus square root 3 square root 2 plus square root 5 plus square root 3 plus square root 4 if you notice the whatever that's on the first bracket and whatever that's on the second bracket are actually the same meaning we can do another factorization so now our fraction will become square root 2 plus square root 3 plus square root 4 plus square root 5 on the bottom if we single out this whole series of number I have square root 2 plus square root 3 plus square root 4 plus square root 5 bracket that's obviously equal to 1 and on the at the back we have square root 3 from here this series of numbers will cancel each other and I'm left with the final I'm left with the answer of 1 over 1 plus square root 3 and at this step we can go ahead and rationalize the denominator by multiplying 1 minus square root 3 which is the conjugate and I'm doing the same thing with the numerator so what I'm and what I end up with is negative 2 1 minus square root of 3 if you notice the numerator is actually a negative number as well so if I change the sign then it will become square root 3 minus 1 over 2 and that's the final answer for today's question. I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Have a good day. Goodbye.